Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of Will It Waffle? As some of you who follow the other videos on this channel may have noticed, this month I am celebrating LGBT History Month with a series that I am calling Queerstory. It is all about sharing stories with people across many different identities and expressions and experiences so that will no longer be erased from history in the future and also about celebrating our history from the past. And so to get in the spirit of that for this month's Will It Waffle, I wanted to waffle something that really expressed that somehow so rainbows basically that's just gay stuff rainbows i'm creative but actually i did just learn that every part of the rainbow flag stands for something else which is kind of cool so if i had looked up what all of those were then this would be a wonderful blending all, all of those together in a waffle iron hold on the red is life orange is healing yellow is sunlight green is nature Turquoise is magic and art, indigo is serenity and harmony, violet is spirit, and if you include hot pink, that one is sexuality. Mm-hmm. That was in that Susan Boyle hit move. That's what she's best known for. <laughs> oh gosh, we'd better get to the waffling quick. Is this what our elders from history imagined for our future? Trans kid in his kitchen waffling crayons. As I say that, I realize I should have done Skittles, because that is probably one of the top recommended things that you guys have asked me to do. Skittles, taste of the rainbow. <sighs> Thank God there's like a bajillion LGBT months and days and things. Some other time, but for now, let's waffle crayons. Crayons? Oh man, I don't even know how I pronounce this. This is gonna be a debate in the comments. How do you pronounce crayons? Ugh, but anyways, I have some of these drawing utensils. I've been heating up the waffle iron for a while now because I feel like this is gonna take a lot of heat. I know we cooked these in the oven when I was a kid and we would put them in like muffin tins. So when you had all of these like, you know, little bits of crayons, you could put them into the muffin tins and then they'd create these big like hockey puck crayons. So today we're gonna make a big waffle crayon. A lot of this spray here. Just so much of it. Let's do uh oh my god, it's melting super fast. I thought it was gonna take a lot. Apparently it won't. Oh god. Oh man. Okay. This is okay. Like we can we can still deal with this. Uh, that's happening way faster than I thought. Okay, we'll just put you down there now. So I guess I should have gotten more crayons. Uh, this is not gonna take long at all. Oops, I'm not hearing anything. I turned it back down, all the way down to low. Also, you guys, look at this. I put my waffle iron on an actual cookie tray now. Aren't you so proud of me? All of you always tell me that I should put my waffle iron on top of something so that I don't get a mess all over my counter. You know, now I'll get a mess all over the cookie tray. I don't quite understand this logic yet, but I'm trying it for you. Will crayons waffle? <laughs> it's beautiful! Nothing up there. It just melted straight into here. Definitely, I think, need more to fill up onto the, the tops here. Hot dang, is this cool. So this is pure liquid right now, right? Oh yeah. They melted? Did they waffle? I'm not sure yet. I guess I'll let you know in the morning. Okay, it is now a few hours later, and this looks like it's dried, so I'm gonna try to take it off. It's just all gonna fall apart, I bet. Oh my gosh! Okay, that's, that's pretty cool looking. Okay, so like, no, these crayons didn't waffle, but I think if you put more crayons on and have a better oil technique, crayons might waffle. Well, that, that kind of worked. I do kind of want to try it again because those waffle bits did look really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, though. They're not really functional as crayons. Also, I don't really use crayons. If you have ideas of what one could do with waffle-shaped crayons, let me know in the comments. Also, you should let me know in the comments what other things you want me to waffle, although apparently I don't listen because Skittles should have waffled. Skittles. I do not believe that crayons have been suggested to me before like Skittles, but one of you did do it once and I am so sorry. I looked and I searched and I tried to find your name, but I could not find your name, but I do have the picture. So if you sent me this picture, let me know in the comments, say hi, because thank you, you inspired this whole video. I don't think I actually would have thought of waffling crayons if I hadn't seen this picture from you. 
a long time ago. But hey, one other cool announcement really quick, as some of you may know, my day job is working for the Harry Potter Alliance, a cool nonprofit that uses like Harry Potter and other pop culture to mobilize people towards social action. Right now, we are running a fundraiser, and part of it is for our upcoming slash current kind of campaign called Wizard Rock the Vote, because yo, it's important we vote this year. See, I'm all I'm all ready to vote. Pedro's not running, and I'm not gonna write his name in because you should not be writing in names this year. I'm not saying this on behalf of the HPA. This year is dangerous, and in order for the dangerous candidate to not be elected, we must all come together as one and vote for the sensible, qualified, not sexual abuser, not racist candidate. Capiche? But anyways, back to the non-partisan Harry Potter Alliance Get Out the Vote campaign. You should go to wizardrockthevote.com, you should get involved. Right now there's a fundraiser going, there's all sorts of cool things that you can get, including this Granger Things t-shirt. That's my fave. Go check that out. Support getting out the vote. Let's all celebrate voting because we actually can make a difference. And as always, if you try waffling crayons or try waffling anything else, I wanna see it. Tag it, will it waffle, so we can all check it out and enjoy it. I think, yes, that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.